to know who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongol spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Top of the top, y'all, what's going on, man? This is your homeboy, your dog, your G, J Hood and all that. And you are now tuned into a brand new episode of the Tales from the Hood Vlog series, man. Stop what you doing right now, this second, and make sure you go stream or download my brand new album entitled Self and While You At It. Snatch up the Pesci Trilogy also, Pesci Part 1, 2, and 3. And snatch up the best of hood uh, flashbacks from the block while you at it. Everything is available right now on all digital streaming platforms. All right, so look, before I even get into what I'm going to speak about on today's episode, I just want to show you guys something, right? I get a lot of comments saying, yo, huh, man, you got to back up away from the mic a little bit. You're too close to the mic. But you see this? This is a whole hand. My whole hand is in front of me. You know what I mean? Showing you that I'm not in front of the mic. It's just the way that the, the camera is angled. And I have to stay somewhat in front of the mic so it could pick up everything that I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because this isn't the typical podcast microphone. You know what I mean? So that's that. On top of the fact, I'm not doing what everybody else do. You know what I'm saying? That I don't have no uh, no set way to do anything. I do shit the way I want to do it. Anyway, with that being said, we're going to talk about the first time that I met and bumped into Young Jeezy before, you know, he became known on a global level, right? So I was on tour with Kiss uh, one time and we made a stop to Atlanta, excuse me, in Atlanta, right? Now, Atlanta's known for their strip clubs, you know what I mean? They be popping off in the daytime and at night. This particular time we went to the strip club during the afternoon, right? So while on tour with Kiss, depending on how much he made, it was usually 10 to 15 bands a show. It hit me off with a couple bands and shit. You feel me? For hype man and them and uh for performing. So that day we had performed like a night before that. So I had a little bit of bread. But I wasn't planning on spending that shit in the strip club, to be honest with you. So we go up in there. I go up in there with a couple hundred. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting a couple lap dances and shit like that. And in my mind, I'm like, I already know how it's going. I'm like, nigga, I'm not spending over this amount up in here. So that was already in my mind. You know what I mean? So once I start seeing my 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 my, my bread get low and all, I'm like, let me grab up one bitch and I'm going to stay with this one bitch and I'm going to work my charm on her. Keep in mind, I'm young and shit up in there. So we up in the joint. I, you know, I got this one bitch. She dancing on me and shit. I'm in there chopping it up with her. I'm spending game to her in the air and all that. You know what I mean? We're spending a bunch of sweet nothings in the air and all that. You know how it go, man. So, she, you know, she feeling the nigga vibe. She feeling my energy and shit. So she giving me play. So, we, you know, we ain't been there. We, we we vibing and all that. Bouncing nigga hating, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, after a while, he stopped seeing me, like, tip her and giving her money, but she keep dancing on me and shit. So, you know, he looking. I'm peeping him through my periphery and shit. I'm like, yeah, this nigga hating on her. She like, he be all right. Man, this nigga came right over to me after a while and was like, yo, dog, you got to tip her. Or she can't be on you. I'm like, all right, big man. It's cool. I got you, man. In my mind, I'm like, I ain't got shit. I ain't fuck about it. I said whatever I had to say to get that nigga to fuck away from me. So she kept dancing on me and shit. So I'm feeling on her thighs and all that. You know, hand go from her thigh to her booty. Hand go from her booty, you know, to the box. I'm trying to, I'm trying to unwrap the gift and all that and see what's up in the box and all that. You know what I mean? I'm sliding my couple fingers up in the joint. You feel me? Up in the juice box. Finger popping the bitch. Looking at big man, I see him looking at me, you know what I mean? I'm trying to stick my fingers up in the bitch when he ain't looking, so she keep dancing on me and shit. She ain't stressing the fact that I'm not tipping her because at that point, she fell on my vibe, you know what I mean? Like, she ain't even, like, really stressing that shit. So we talking and, you know, everything cool. You know, she like, yo, I done made my little, you know, tip for the afternoon, plus you just hit me off, you know. So we, we good, don't even worry about that. Me. I'm on my, my Energizer Bunny horn dog fucking jackrabbit shit. So I'm trying to finger pop the bitch in there. Big man come your dog. I told you you got a tip. I'm like, yo fam, I, I heard you, man. You know what I'm saying? So he leave. Now, you know me. Like I said, young nigga, I ain't trying to hit nothing. I keep doing the shit. So this nigga came over with another nigga. Yo, yo man, we, you gotta leave. I'm like, what? He like, yeah, you gotta leave, big man. Yo, you gotta leave. That's my third time telling you. So I told my old man, I'm like, yo, these niggas kicking me out, man. Shit crazy. I'm laughing. He like, fuck you, man. Just go back to the bus. Okay, so as I'm walking out, you know what I mean? I'm um, I'm walking through the parking lot to get back to the bus because we parking in the parking lot of shit. 
So as I'm walking towards the bus, I see two niggas getting out like a, a pickup truck. Like, not no raggedy pickup truck. I'm talking about like one of them souped up, nice joints. Now, at the time, Kiss had this big ass cross platinum joint that cost at least 25, 30 bands, right? So um, I see these two niggas with the same exact cross, but one of them was rose gold and the other shit was gold. So I'm thinking, I'm like, who the fuck is these niggas, man? You know, cause they got the same cross kiss hat on, but I'm not saying that. So as soon as they see me though, one nigga like, hey, yo, yo, hood. I turn around, I'm like, yo, what's good? He like, yo, what's, what's shaking with you, what's good? I'm like, ain't nothing, homie, what's good? He like, ain't nothing, he like, yo, um, where the nigga kiss at? I'm like, that nigga in the club and shit. He like, all right, back, back. So I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? I got on the bus and shit. You know, like I said, I'm like, oh, I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm just like, okay, somebody, these two niggas got the same cross kiss hat on, but I don't know who the fuck these niggas are though. But they gotta be somebody because they had that shit on. So I'm like, them niggas got some paper. Man, a couple months later, boys in the hood, they drop a video. You know what I mean? That's when, you know, Puff, Jody Breeze, Young Jeezy and all them, you know what I'm saying? Had, you know, I dropped that record and shit. The boys in the hood, like, however that shit go. You know what I mean? They dropped that shit. I'm like, oh shit, that's son that I seen in the parking lot. So this one niggas was trying to figure out if he was really about that shit that he was talking about, you know what I mean? Like out of town niggas. I wonder if he really liked that. So the niggas I went like, yo dog, that nigga talking like he got my dog. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know that nigga like that, but I seen that nigga like in the parking lot at the strip club before I even heard of this nigga. And it looked like, yo bro, that nigga really had it, my nigga. Like that nigga ain't capping, you feel me? This nigga had, him and his man had the same shit this nigga Kiss had on. Rose gold and the gold drink. So I'm like, nigga, from what I seen, I'm like, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga was really about that. You know what I mean? He, he had that paper. You feel me? And um, that was my very first time seeing the nigga. And you know, um, when he had came back, excuse me, when niggas came back onto the bus, they was talking about how the nigga had like, he was up in there with, with packages of, of bread and shit. You know what I mean? Like, crazy amounts of, of, of ones and shit, and then they're going crazy. And this was in the motherfucking daytime. I'm like, oh, shit, this shit crazy, man. So that, that was an interesting story of me bumping into that nigga before he became globally known. And um, shout out to the A, shout out to Jeezy, Snowman and all that. So I just want to share that with y'all niggas. Y'all know how to do it. I need you to uh, hit that like button, man. Don't be, don't be just watching this shit, because a lot of y'all niggas just be watching, man. Hit the like button. You know what I mean? That shit is free, nigga. It don't cost you nothing. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my, um, the episodes before this one. And make sure you check out the episode of my new series entitled, uh, Hip Hop with Hood. And everything else that a nigga doing, man. If you need promo for anything that you got going on, hit me. We still offering promo packages and all that on this platform as well as all my social media outlets. And let's work, man. You feel me? So look, until next time.